guys on my way out i found this nice old mercury i think you're gonna like it i'll let you see it it's the rival car from ford and mercury the mercury cougar that was the name plate at first they were going to put on the mustang the cougar and they changed their minds thank god but mercury got the sister car anything the mustang had got the mercury cougar had basically got except the front end and the rear end was different body style a little different but the mercury cougar shared a lot of motors and transmissions and rear end as the mustang you know so these cars they packed the punch they didn't let the cougar go without any type of power basically you know, dual exhaust in the back Straight body, pretty clean. Some gold with a black top. Interior. Automatic. You got the factory gauges. It's got the factory console up in the top. It's got leather interior. The interior is perfect except for the two front seat covers. Okay. It's the, got the factory tack. The factory tack works. It's got the overhead console. So it's you got, got the overhead console. Yep. Yeah, okay, up in there. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's an XR7. It's got the XR7 uh, floor mats. Yeah. It's got the XR7 hubcaps. Can you pop the motor? What size motor is on it? It's got a 302, which is an optional motor. Mm -hmm. It's um, for you guys, it's for sale. It's had some paint work on this fender, and somebody's painted from down here. Mm -hmm. It's been off the road since 2009. Lady oh. owned, she bought it brand new. Um, I just had the transmission gone through about 10 miles ago. Complete okay. rebuild on the transmission. New flywheel, new uh, rear mount, motor mount. It's got a new battery in it, mm -hmm. new solenoid. Uh, when she parked it in 09, she put a brand new exhaust on it. She put wheel cylinders in the back, brake pads. In shoes on the front, she put uh, new calipers, new rotors. Wow, she put a lot of stuff on this thing. The car runs good. Mm -hmm. A couple little spots right here are starting to go, but the rest of the towers are real good. I'll fire it up for you. The doors close good. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, the original hubcaps on it. The XR7 hubcaps. 3024 valve. It's an air-conditioned car, too. Oh, okay. That's oh. even rare, yeah. Definitely. The car is tight. It goes down the road very good. Alright guys, so we get to look inside this really nice Cougar, man. Get to see the interior. Back seats. Probably never sat in. Headliner is very nice too. Oh yeah. The headliner is really nice. Let's see. We swing around. See the tacks, the gauges, all the good stuff, man. Look at that. Nice old cougar, man. He's, like I said, it was the sister car to the Corv I mean, to the Mustang, and kind of the rival. It's an XR7. Too. XR7 Cougar. Real do, nice car. Do the pipes in the back. Oh, yeah. the pipes in the back. That's a real good sound. Can you hit the gas? Yeah. Get a nice mellow deep sound, y'all. That's good. That's a real good motor to send that back. Did you take a picture of the air conditioning on there? I, I can go back in there. I can go back in there and take it. Make, make somebody a hell of a car. Oh, yeah, definitely. It isn't all rusted out? No, it's not. It's really nice. Like I say it's had paint work a few years ago. You can see the air conditioning vents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's some right here in the side. Oops. Yeah, 
there we go. Air conditioner vent right there. Floor looks really nice. Metal console shifter. Floor over there. It looks really nice, y'all. Is that the information right there for this car? Yeah. yeah. Can I pull it out? Yeah, sure. <sighs> I got it. Okay. So anybody who's interested in this XR7, due to the wind, thank you. You will have all the information right here and uh, phone numbers on there, right? Yep. Yep. See Rick. If you're interested in this really nice Cougar, hey man, 1968 XR7. Give them a call. All right. Thanks, guys. Here we go. Let's sit this back inside.